first, they formed what they described as a people's government led by Dr. Kiza Besije. Our target must be to have a transition. And then attempted to drag President Yoweri Museveni to the International Criminal Court. A petition which is brought in public interest. When none of these yielded results, opposition politicians have formed transitional government of national unity. Starting today, they must understand their time is out. The time is out. Seen holding the said transitional government schedule and memorandum of understanding is former leader of opposition in parliament, Professor Ogenga Latigo. He received the documents as part of an invitation to join the front, a request he turned down. But their main purpose was to ask me to be a participant and to, to provide leadership uh, for northern Uganda. I, I realized that uh, I would not offer my services for what they plan to do. Ogenga Latigo, who is the immediate former member of parliament for Agago North, describes this as a sign of desperation. It is like leaving Mulago and going to a witch doctor because the, uh, the guys in Cancer Institute have told you that the patient is so sick, we cannot help you. But you still believe somewhere, <laughs> somehow, you can get some help. Meanwhile, National Unity Platform, the leading opposition political party in parliament, has declined to join the front. If uh, we are all pushing towards the same direction, I, I don't think there's, there's, there's need for us all to be under one umbrella. Professor Latigo agrees with their position. Nope, it's a very new political formation in Uganda. It has to find its own fit. And to suggest that in its struggle to be the, the official opposition in, in, in parliament, and uh, a party uh, that the youth look to and then get again mixed up in this. I think that would be totally unreasonable. He is, however, quick to note that all this stems from what he describes as Uganda's incomplete political history. He cites the non-peaceful transfer of power from one president to another as a cause of desperation. Change of leadership is a very natural thing. I mean... You can be the toughest father in your home. Time will come that your sons have to bury you. And so if you don't prepare them for your decent burial, you will even have a very chaotic burial. It happens even in families. Now, what about in a more complicated situation like our country? But transferring political power from what to what, and from whom to who, Dr. Chris Bariomunsi, is the Minister for ICT and National Guidance. The good thing is that every five years we hold elections and the Ugandans make a decision. If they are happy with the leader, they will vote him back. So you can as well say every five years we always have a transition. To Bariyo Musi, it is not just illegal, but also unbecoming for anyone to think of changing government using unconstitutional means. The Ugandans have been voting for President Yoweri Museveni because they still see value in him. They appreciate what he has done for the country and that's why Ugandans vote him. So, as former leader of opposition in parliament, Professor Ogenga Latigo has an appeal to President Museveni, Minister Bariyo Munsi, as a word for opposition. The change process is in your hands. You can make it smooth, rejuvenating, and all-embracing. Or you can make it very difficult. But no matter how difficult and no matter how long it will take, change will happen. So it is Ugandans as provided for in the constitution that every five years we subject ourselves to the Ugandans. If he wants to be president, the route he should take is subject himself to the will of the Ugandans. Dr. Kiza Besije, who was a presidential candidate in 2016, was not on the ballot in 2021 
after he lost opposition support to Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu. Henry Okrut, UBC.